YouTube. This is Supercharged iOS. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove add-ons and repos from your XBMC using the XBMC Hub Maintenance Tool. Now, I have other videos showing you just how to add the XBMC Hub Maintenance Tool. If you don't already have it installed, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description as well as on the screen of this video. And you can go ahead and install that XBMC Hub Maintenance Tool. And then you can follow right along. Okay, so I'll go over to my programs, and right there is my XBMC Hub Maintenance Tool. Go ahead and launch it. And go over to Maintenance. And you can see right here, it gives you a list of a few things. Remove add-ons, remove repos. So remove. you can also remove skins, delete your cache. All that is right here, useful, very useful tools here. So I'll go into remove add-ons because you don't want to have any, you know, too many add-ons and repos installed, but especially if you don't use them or if they stop working, just want to go ahead and remove those, and get rid of them. For me, me for example, I never use this uh, this uh, iPhoto image add-on, so I'll just go ahead and use that one to show you guys. You just select it. It asks, do you want to remove it? It's that simple. Just go to yes and select that. And this will work the same on any device or computer that you use XBMC on. Okay, and it works the same with repos. All you have to do is select repos like that. Same way you did with video add-ons. Just go on down the list and choose whichever one you want to remove. I'll go ahead and remove more star add-on. That's the sports add-on, one of the sports add-ons repos. You just hit remove like that. It's that simple. It's really easy to do. Again, if you need to remove your any skins that you may have installed, you just go into remove skins and choose whichever one you want to remove. All right, this is Supercharged iOS. This was just a quick video showing you guys how to remove those older repos and add-ons from your XBMC. I hope you guys found this video pretty helpful. Please follow us on twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. And like our page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.